What is up guys? Welcome to a an are you suspect test live actually uh, if you didn't know that Doug Trio is being Suspect tested in are you something that is felt to be very warranted uh, I kind of agree because I feel Doug Trio is a little bit broken of a Pokemon because of its ability uh, Not so much with its stats or anything. It's just the fact that it can trap things kind of like shadow tags stuff like that You know, it's those are always very very annoying abilities to deal with and they kind of broke the game, as we saw with the Shadow Tag ban in OU, but or across all tiers actually. But anyway, uh, we have a team here. Team that I found on the forums. It's actually really cool. Uh, it's comprised of uh, Munchlax, which is actually a huge threat. Uh, max Special Defense, uh, Max HP, and you curse up a couple of times on Special Attackers, and they can't do anything to you because of this massive Special Defense because of the Eviolite. And then you just curse up all the way and you can just pretty much blow a team back. Pair it up with Spiritomb, take the fighting hits, uh, be able to trap fighting types or uh, or any kind of uh, psychic types in the tier such as Yuxi and um, Bronzong, stuff like that, so that's always nice. Sword Dance, Verzion, Standard Lumberry set, as well as Wise Glasses Flagon, which is really cool because it doesn't take uh, Life Orb Recoil. It still gets that nice little 1.1 boost if you don't you guys don't know Wise Glasses. is kind of like Life Orb, just a little less powerful and doesn't have the uh, the drawback of losing 10% every turn. Then we have Seismitoad over here, Standard Seismitoad set, uh, very defensive, physically defensive. I might switch this up to Special because, actually I'll do that right now, uh, just because Magneton is seeing a lot more play right now, and uh, that's kind of scary for this team. And uh, finally, we have Fletchender over here. Itemless, of course, acrobatic set, standard Fletchender set. Very nice cleaner uh, in the end game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going to be kind of hard to f find games, guys. I shouldn't be playing right now. I'm going to play like a buffoon, but uh, <laughs> I got to get some content out for you guys. Do it for the views. No, but for real, like, <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to have a hard time finding battles, so I might be pausing between battles. Um, Let's, let's see if we can get one rather quickly here. If we can't, then I'll just pause it. Wait about 10 seconds. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing in the comment section down below. Let me uh, Tell me if you've had a good day. If, uh, if it's been a good morning so far, afternoon, whenever this is going up. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I don't know when I'm doing the... Uh, well, actually, let, let me not talk about that before it's spoilers. But anyway, I'm going to pause it, guys. And uh, we'll, we'll be back when we get one. Alright guys, we got one, and I probably should have gotten a couple of points <laughs> before starting this, because my my opponent here has uh, four NU Pokemon, I believe. <laughs> Perhaps even a PU Pokemon, I think Cryogonal's PU. Uh, maybe even Mysterious, but anyway, uh, we got a pretty solid matchup here. Spirit Tomb on its own puts in so much work uh, against his team between will o the Steelix, uh, and the Poliwrath, as well as Pursuit Trapping uh, two Pokemon, and absolutely obliterating the, um, the Cryogonal. Uh, of course, because it has no physical defense, so I think we're pretty safe to lead off here with uh, what's a good lead here? I would say Seismitoad is probably feasible, as he leads with Steelix, which is kind of what I expected. Uh, I just want to throw off a Scald right here, get off some damage on whatever comes in. It is going to be the Roselia. If we can get a burn, that would be awesome, and we do. Cool, awesome. So that's uh, that's pretty much dealt with. Uh, right here, I can probably go into Munchlax because it has ridicu ridiculous special defense, excuse me, uh, as he chooses to double back into Steelix, so very nice play on my opponent's part. However, I can just go right back out into Seismitoad. He's going to get up his rocks. We're going to trade rocks right here. It's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for mine, and uh, that'll be done with. Uh, there's a chance this result, well, it is a uh, natural cure, so we uh, he was able to get rid of the burn as a result. But now I can go to Munchlax once again. If he wants to make a du another double into Steelix, we can keep playing this game. But at some point, he's going to have to stop. Does get a Sludge Bomb crit right there. Not too big of a deal. We'll, we'll just go for a Body Slam right now as he goes for Spikes. That, that's alright because um, Flygon's not effective. And that Body Slam actually did quite a bit of damage. That's really nice. Uh, I may just go for... Uh, another one here, I think is, is the appropriate play. He's gonna go for a Giga Drain, he's gonna get a little bit of health back, but Body Slam is doing way too much. It's negating that, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I, considering even just starting to curse up here, and I think that's probably my play, is he actually goes for Rest, which is nice. He'll get his, um, he'll get his Natural Cure and, and cure off the, uh, the Sleep right there. Uh, but it's fine, we can actually just go for another curse right here. Uh, he pretty much has to go into something that threatens us immediately, and there's nothing that really does that outside of maybe Polyrath. So, we'll see what he does here. He does go into Mischievous, actually, which we cannot touch, uh, but I'm curious to see what he's going to do to us. Um, let's see. I just want to rest here, actually. 
Yeah, let's go for rest. He goes for a will o wisp. That's fine. We'll cure off the burn immediately. And I'm gonna go straight into Spirit Tomb to trap this, uh, as this thing has pitiful physical defense, and uh, a pursuit might even knock it out from the range it's at. Uh, he does choose to switch into Steelix, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we have Will-O-Wisp on deck right here. We'll just go for it. We are faster than this thing, or at least we should be. Uh, I'm not sure, because the Spirit Tomb's really slow, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, it does go into Roselia on the, uh, the Will-O-Wisp, which is fine. Uh, the only thing he can really do is attack me, unless he wants to go for Spikes, which would be okay. I'm just going to go for Shadow Sneak, actually. Just get off some damage on this thing. As he goes for Giga Drain, he's going to get a lot of health back from that. So maybe not the best play. Uh, I like Verizion here, actually. Uh, I don't feel like he would sludge bomb in this scenario. So we'll go into Verizion right here. As he is going to go for a rest. Alright, so that uh, kind of backfired. But, 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 but. Um, Swords Dancing here uh, has nearly no drawback as he goes into Steelix, which is fine. I'm actually going to go for a Leaf Blade first. This thing is leftovers, Stealth Rock, so it doesn't seem like a huge threat. He... Uh, takes that very nicely and roars me out. All right, right into Fletchener. Okay, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, I can just go for a Willow Wisp here, though. Uh, and Roselia can't really switch in on me because I am a Fletchender. So let's see if he has a Rock type move to hit us with. He actually, just goes for Roar again. That's fine. We're gonna go into Spirit Tomb and take a little bit of damage. Uh, that's unfortunate. I really need to get rid of these hazards as soon as possible. Mine aren't doing almost anything to him, so uh, I think I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Sneak here. As he goes out into Mischievous, which is awesome. We're able to catch that thing. That does absolutely nothing. What the heck? Wow. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to go for another one here. Uh, weaken this thing as much as possible as he goes for Shadow Ball and is able to knock us out. That's fine. I really just want to go into Flygon and get rid of these hazards because they're annoying me. So uh, we'll do that. His Steelix is burned, so that's good. It does give him a free switch into Cryogonal if he wants to, but... Uh, he does choose to just stay in and pain split, which is fine. I think this thing is super physically defensive from the way it took that Shadow Sneak because uh, I know that Miss Magius and Mistress have pitiful physical defense. So uh, I feel like just going for a Draco Meteor here is fine uh, as he does take a, a good amount of damage from that. He's going to go for a Shadow Ball. It's going to do a good amount back to us. And now I think I have to start making some plays. I'm going to go out into Verizion on what I think is going to be Slowking. Uh, as he actually goes for Heal Bell uh, to heal off the burn. That's okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Leaf Blade here. I'm going to knock out this Mistress. Finally, the first knockout for us. Uh, we've done some good damage. I mean, to Steelix. Uh, we found out the Roselia's entire set. Now we just have to deal with the other three in the back. Two of which are Water Types uh, that we deal with relatively well. The, uh, the Ice Type, though, not so much. Uh, let's just go for a close combat on this thing. I want to get off as much damage as possible. He takes 44. That's nice. Uh, he does go for a Gyro Ball, actually, knocking us very low. And I think I'm going to go out into... He doesn't seem to have a Rock-type move. Uh, I like Fletchender here at the same time, though. He's going to switch in Roselia, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to switch in Fletchender on what I think, what I think is going to be a Roselia switch. Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. We were able to catch that. And uh, he won't go down to the Sacro, though. That's the only issue. But I don't lose anything by going for it, so. He does go into Slow King, that's cool. Able to get a, a nice 39% on that, that thing. Fletchner is actually really strong. Uh, and I feel like going into Munchlax is probably my best play. Because this thing is normally a special attacker. He does go for the Toxic, that's awesome. And he does still have a Roarmon. Uh, I'm going to go for Sleep Talk for the first time. Uh, well, not for the first time. I think, yeah, 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 it, it is the first time. I think he's just going to roar me out. Uh, I'm just going to sleep talk again. Hopefully we can get a body slam and potentially paralyze this thing. That'd be cool. Uh, as we do get a rest, unfortunately, and he's probably just going to roar us out. So I'm just going to go for a body slam here. Again, trying to get the para. That is going to do 9%. Beautiful. <laughs> that is zero damage. Uh, Flygon does come in here, and I really just want an Earthquake now. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. As my opponent chooses to go in a Cryogonal, which is not going to take this... Uh, oh, right, it's got Levitate. All right, never mind. Uh, it takes that very well because it's not even affected. <laughs> Um, I do have a Munchlax still, so I'll go out into that. His team is actually really, really good. Uh, I underestimated it, but... Uh, he's gonna get a freeze on us. Very unfortunate right there. Uh, Munchlax is still moving a little bit. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, let's go for the Body Slam. As he switches into Polyrath. That's okay. Uh, but everything's getting worn down at this point. He might just start circle throwing us, which is really annoying. 
Uh, he does go for Circle Throw, of course, and brings back in Munchlax. I think I just have to go for... Okay, we thought immediately. I'm going to go for Curse as he goes for Circle Throw, so I guess we saved ourselves a little bit of damage. Actually, he misses. That's nice. Um, let's go for Body Slam. Try to get a para on this thing once again, and uh, we don't get it. And he's going to do quite a bit of damage with that Circle Throw, 26%. Uh, this thing does have... Actually, hold on a second. Let me get my rocks back up. He should go into Roselia, that's fine. We are able to get our rocks back up now. Uh, he still has a spinner online, so kind of annoying. Um, what does he have? All right. I think I have to hard into Munchlax here. Yeah, this, uh, this is not a good matchup for me at all right now. Let's see. Steelix, 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 Steelix. Uh, let's go for the Body Slam. His Polyrath comes in. Okay, can we para? on one of these please please no okay uh can i get it now i don't have a switch into roselia anymore this circle throw is gonna kill me that's annoying uh all right so we need to get rid of these hazards asap i think that fletchender can put in work if i just get rid of the hazards so i am just gonna go straight into flygon and defog i know i'm repeatedly getting up rocks and defogging them away but i don't have a choice because my opponent's spike stacking me harder than i'm spike stacking him so I does go for Scald, that's fine, I can go into Verizion now. Um, and actually, you know what I'll do? I think I'm going to Swords Dance here. I don't think I have a choice. I have to go for Swords Dance. Okay, he just stays in, he's just, just gonna circle throw me, alright. And he's gonna crit it, too. Cool. Uh, Fletchender has to come in here, and I have to go for Acrobatics. I have to try to knock this thing out, as we do not, and he will be able to Oko me with a Scald. And now it all comes down to Seismitoad, which can't beat the Roselia, so that's pretty much a forfeit right there. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a better game this time around, one where we're not at a huge disadvantage due to spike stacking. Uh, Flygon is a great defogger, but it's kind of counterproductive to be getting up your rocks and defogging them away. Lesson learned. Uh, let me see if I actually have any other RU teams uh, left over that I can bust out right now. Uh, that is definitely doable. And that's actually not too bad. Glalie is a huge threat. Let's try this team out. Uh, no, Tyrantrum's banned. Right, okay. We can't do that. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> Glalie. Okay, this one I think is doable. Let's do this. Let's try this team out. I know I'm swapping up teams. And I shouldn't be doing that, but I kind of tested this team before. Uh, it worked about 50% of the time. I was hoping that I would be able to get better results with it uh, when I jumped into a live, but that's not the case. So let's see if we can do a little bit better with this team. What do we even have on this team? I'm going to have to see when we get into a battle. But I'll pause it until we get one once again, guys. All right, and we got one, and my opponent has a... It, it looked at first like a mono ghost team, and then I saw the, the walls over here in Alamomola, uh, Audino, and um, the... Um, yeah, this thing, you know. Um... Uh, his team doesn't do very well against Glalie, except for Alamomola and maybe Cofagragus because it gets rid of the refrigerate. But I think I'm just going to lead with... I think Mesprit's okay as a lead, but he has two ghosts, three ghosts, so that's, that's a little unfortunate. I'm going to lead off with Agron because it's banded. As my opponent leads off with Cofagragus, that's fine. I'm going to go hard into Magmortar. We are Choice Scarf Magmortar. And uh, I think I might just Thunderbolt from there, trying to catch the Alamomola on the switch. We'll see, though, as my opponent goes for a Toxic Spike. Okay, so that's fine. We do have a Golbat with Defog, and we do have uh, an Immunity in Aggron, which is often a switch. Actually, we have two Immunities, Mesprit and Aggron. So I'm just going to go for a T-Bolt here. As my opponent stays in and gets paralyzed, all right. Uh, he's going to get up to the second layer of T-Spikes. That's fine. I'm going to go uh, hard into Golbat here, get rid of these immediately because they're annoying, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm actually going to taunt this thing first, or whatever comes out. That's always nice, especially if it's Alamomola. And uh, now that this Cofagragus is paralyzed, it's a lot easier to deal with. He just goes straight for the Hex. That's not going to do much. I'm just going to defog these spikes away as my opponent chooses to go out into Aloe. That's fine. We will taunt it as well, prevent it from wishing, which is always an issue. And uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He does just scald us. Does he get the burn? He does not, which is awesome. And now we can probably go out into Scrafty, honestly. Uh, why are we taunt rest? 
What is this set? Hold on a sec. <laughs> Let me switch out into Scrafty. Did I grab this from somewhere? I'm not sure anymore. Uh, he just goes into Dredagon. That's fine. As uh, I can just knock this thing off. Which is something that I definitely want to do early on. Prevent it from getting out, uh, off a lot of damage on my... Uh, actually, he's Life Orb. Okay. Goes for Outrage. Uh, does a good amount, but not enough. And now he's inviting in Aggron, which can easily take this hit. Uh, without his life orb, he doesn't have, like, any power behind that. And, uh, he's locked in here, so we can just fire off a head smash, potentially kill this thing, because it is banded, and we do. Beautiful. Nice and choice banded Aggron right here. And, uh, with that Dredagon gone, with that, <laughs> with that Dredagon gone, um, it makes it a lot easier for a lot of my Pokemon, uh, to work. Mainly my slower Pokemon, like this one, and, um, Magmortar. A lot easier. As he goes into Haunter, I'm curious to see what he's going to do to me. Um, I don't want to switch Magmortar in directly because it has a very good matchup against his team. So I'm probably just going to head smash as he actually goes for a substitute. Um, I'm assuming he's trying to stall me out of head smashes potentially. That might be the game plan. I'm just going to go into... Hmm. Well, we have an Infiltrator on this. I'm gonna head smash one more time as he actually goes for disable. That's a smart play. All right, uh, let's go hard into Golbat. Golbat can take any hit this thing wants to go for, uh, including Shadow Ball, very very well, and we can roost off all this damage. He'll more than likely just go for a, um, a sub. Yep. And now we're gonna go for Brave Bird as we have Infiltrator. Actually, you know what I want to do first? I want to taunt this thing. Okay, he just disables roost. That's fine. Uh, we're going to taunt him, prevent him from disabling again, and we're going to go for Brave Bird. And we're going to hit this thing through its sub. It's going to go for a Shadow Ball. It's going to do a good amount of damage. He actually gets a Spit F drop, which is kind of unfortunate, but we are able to Oko the Haunter. This is a Golbat. This does not have any power behind it. Wow. Haunter is ridiculously frail without any VLA. Uh, as my opponent goes out into auto no, that's fine. I can just taunt this thing once again. It shouldn't have any coverage to hit me. If it does, then congrats. Uh, but I am just going to taunt it here as he goes for a Dazzling Gleam. That is not very effective, my friend. Uh, we are almost uh, re-enabled with, uh, with Golbat here. But I do want to switch out. Uh, and actually, what I want to do is get up rocks immediately. As my opponent is going to switch out into Cathagrius, that's absolutely fine. We're just going to go for Stealth Rocks here. And uh, if he tries to set up spikes again, I'm just going to magic code eventually and get up spikes on his side. So he actually just goes for a hex, that's fine. That's an okay play. And uh, I'm just going to switch out into Golbat at this point, actually. Uh, because I would be able to defog his stuff away. I'm just going to go for a taunt now. And we are able to catch pretty much anything with this taunt. Uh, he can no longer go for Will-O-Wisp. I can roost off all this damage. He has to go for a hex now. That's fine. And we can just start Brave Birding this thing down. Uh, it does have 197 attack. It's not too, too bad. Uh, definitely put in a little bit of damage on this Cathagrigus if I want to. Um, he's actually going to switch out into Alamomola. That's fine by me. I'm just going to go for a switch out into Scrafty, actually. Because I expect the Skull to come out. Uh, he actually goes for Protect. Okay, that's fine by me as well. And we will taunt this because I don't want him getting a wish off. We're actually slower than his Alamomola, so that's a little unfortunate. We do have the Shed Skin, so that can activate at any time. I'm just going to go for a knockoff here because it hits pretty much everything other than the Autono at this point. Uh, if I'm able to get rid of Cathagrigus' item, great. No more leftovers. Uh, Trevident would be an awesome thing to knock off as well. And this Alamomola, getting rid of its leftovers would be uh, very beneficial. So let's do that. And I'm going to start the timer on my opponent. See what he wants to do. Uh, I would personally go auto know here, honestly. That would be my play. Like I can't, I can't touch auto know at all. Then again, that invites Agron in, so that could be a, a misplay as well. We'll see though. Um, opponent's taking quite a little bit of time. We're already 19 minutes deep, so I will pause until he makes a move, guys. We will be right back. Alright guys, so my opponent actually ended up disconnecting, uh, as you guys may have seen right there, but uh, that's I'll take that as a win. Uh, I'll try not to count it for the episode, but it depends on how much time the rest of our battles take. Uh, yeah, I see a lot of eyes, man. <laughs> These Pokemon are all like on the same level. Um, I expect the uh, the Cell Gore to lead here, so I'm just going to 
probably lead off with Golbat as Chinchino leads. Okay. Um, do I expect a Rock Blast and switch out into Agron and get a kill? Or how do I want to play this? Um, Scrafty's not bad, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go into Scrafty first. Because uh, he actually goes for knockoff. Okay, so that works out in our favor. I don't expect him to be choice now because of that. So I will just go for a knockoff of my own. Uh, get off uh, Hitmontop's item or Degancy's. Pretty much anyone is good at this point. I'd be okay with. So we do see the Hitmontop. It's going to get the Intimidate. This is not going to do anything. Uh, but we are able to get rid of the leftovers. So that's very nice. As this thing can't really touch Mesprit, so I'm just going to switch directly into it. As he goes for a Toxic, that's fine. I'm going to get up my rocks now. Uh, if he wants to stay in, that'd be a very bold play on his part. Uh, but I am just going to get up these rocks at this point. So uh, That's going to really help with this team a lot. And uh, my opponent goes into Deancey, so this is fine. I can pretty safely go into Agron here. These, uh, these Deancey don't usually carry Earth Power in this tier, so I feel pretty safe about that. And uh, Heavy Slam, I think, is always my best play looking at his team in general, because it does knock this out. It still does a lot of damage to the Hitmon top regardless, and uh, we'll get off some good, uh, some nice damage right here. 42%, very nice. Without the leftovers, this has a chance to kill. He might just want to Rapid Spin here, as he does. That's awesome. And we are able to knock out the Hitmon top. That's great. Awesome. So now I can just spam Heavy Slam every single time. That's really good. 318 attack. That's, uh, oh, really? It does that. You go to minus one, you get one less attack point because of the choice band. Huh. That's interesting. If you guys see that, 319 becomes 318 at the minus one. So that's, uh, that's something to note. I didn't even know that. But anyway, um, let's see what my opponent wants to do. This is still a very powerful Heavy Slam regardless and he has to be very careful around it uh, I would say probably his best play is to yeah probably this yeah it's gonna get a will-o-wisp off I think what's good about this is that uh, Magmortar always outspeeds I can pretty much expect a will-o-wisp to come out here uh, he doesn't have a, another very good play there we go and uh, we're flame body is that right hold on a second Hold on, I gotta check out this team. What, what's this team's name? It's Untitled what? 54. Let's drop down to 54. Sorry to do this mid-episode, guys, but I just want to see what's going on here. 54. Um, the ability. Yeah, alright, Flame Body's fine. For some reason, I thought this thing had Flash Fire. <laughs> it's way too late. I'm just gonna go for Flamethrowers. My opponent's gonna go for a Shadow Sneak. This is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, I could probably expect the next Shadow Sneak and just switch out into Golbat or Scrafty. Both are fine. Uh, I like Scrafty here, actually, yeah. Let's keep uh, let's keep Magmortar in the back. He does go for a Shadow Sneak. That's absolutely fine. We do not have Leftovers anymore. They did get knocked off by Shinchino, but uh, I'm pretty comfortable just going for a knockoff here. Because if I... Get Deancey's item off, that's even better. Does go for a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, this might kill, actually. No, it doesn't. Okay, not at all. Uh, we're just going to go for the uh, for the rest right here. He might choose to switch out, conserve this. He just goes for the Shadow Claw, that's fine. We have Shed Skin for the Sleep, potentially. Let's see if we can wake up. We do not, that's fine. He can't burn us anyway, so I'm just going to uh, burn off an initial turn of Sleep here. At any point, Shed Skin might kick in, so that's nice. We'll see what happens. Um, feeling pretty confident though. Just Agron in the back demolishes him. Just gotta watch out for this thing's Will O's. Deancey does come in. We stay asleep. Fine. Fine by me. Um, I like Golbat here because I can't see him going for a rock move. That just doesn't make any sense. I mean, he could. He could, predicting this, but. Um, he actually chooses to double out into the net, which is fine by me as well. I'm faster than this, I should, at least I should be, if he's a bulkier variant, which it seems like he is from the knockoff damage. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a defog, it's fine. His stealth rocker's still alive, but it doesn't matter. I'd rather get rid of these sooner than later, especially to bring Magmortar back into the picture, and Glalie especially, we haven't even touched Glalie yet with this team. 
I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do with the thumbnail, guys. I know you've already seen it, but like, I'm thinking about what I can put. Should I put Munchlax there? <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. My opponent goes out into uh, Deancey. Um, we still get rid of the rocks even even through a clear body. I'm just gonna go for a taunt here uh, to prevent this thing from getting up any more layers or any rocks in general. There we go. Rocks are staying off our side, and this means that Agron can come in here and get another kill. My opponent chooses to go for a Diamond Storm that is resisted, and we will go straight for the Heavy Slam and pick up a kill, because pretty much anything is dead, except if a Selgor is sashed, of course. That would be a, uh, a whole nother ball game, but I'm glad I taunted this. That's very nice. He won't be able to get up rocks. He pretty much has to either let this thing go down, lose his Rock Setter, or lose something else, so... He does choose to sack off the Banette. That is amazing for us. He can no longer Will-O-Wisp this Agron. I don't really know how he's going to deal with it. Maybe Meloetta's Focus Blast. That's the only real thing that I can see. Meloetta is actually a little bit of an issue. Opponent chooses to go out into uh, Falonzo. Or F. Alonzo. Um, let's see. It's my best play here. I think... I think Hard Golbat is probably my best play. Because all of this thing's coverage can't really touch it. We're actually immune to that. Uh, Hidden Power Ground. Yeah. That makes the most sense. And we'll just go for a Brave Bird here. Uh, as Chinchino actually comes in. That's nice. Takes 64% from that. Wow. Uh, and I'm just going to go hard into Scrafty again. Because, again, I'm fearing this thing's Rock Blast. And I uh, just want to make sure that's not an issue, so... Uh, he does go for the Tail Slap, actually, and let's see if he gets all five hits. Is he Technician or Skill Link? He is Skill Link, okay. We actually get the, uh, the Shed Skin on that turn needlessly, but, uh, I could switch out into Aggron or even into Magmortar, because Magmortar doesn't do much for the rest of the game, except outspeed the, uh, the Acel Gore, which isn't really gonna matter. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sack off Magmortar here, as my opponent goes for another Tail Slap. Uh, we actually get the Flame Body right there, so that's really nice. Uh, which means that I can actually go into Mesprit here and get up my rocks because he will not be able to knock us out while burned and Deancey comes back in that's absolutely fine again that just gives me either a free switch back into Agron or huh, let's see let me think about this hold on a second how much does Deancey have like in terms of speed when it's a defensive variant in RU um are you... No, let's do UU defensive. Uh, it runs no speed, which means that Agron would outspeed it and get a kill. So, uh, the reason I'm asking this uh, is because I'm thinking about just magic coding and making sure that he doesn't get up rocks, like, infinitely, and just dying to poison. I think that's my play. And then just bringing in Agron and killing something else. Honestly, there's, there's nothing else I can do. That's, that's definitely going to be my play. Just a magic coat repeatedly. He actually goes for a heal bell to cure the burn on Chinchino. That's a little bit worrisome. Uh, but that thing only has two more switch-ins. I'm just going to keep going for magic coat to make sure that he doesn't get up the rocks. That was the game plan. And then we'll go into Agron. Uh, as he does just keep going for rocks. That's awesome. We are going to prevent them at all costs. Uh, if he switches out here, that's absolutely fine as well. Does just keep going for rocks. So we're just going to keep bouncing them back. And Mesprit goes down. Which means that Agron comes back in now and gets a kill. If this thing's faster than me, which I would have been really surprised about, then I would have been worried, but... We still have the Gold Bat for the Hidden Power Ground from the Aselgor, and now this thing's Sash is broken, which is amazing. Uh, I'm just going to go right out into Gold Bat. Again, none of this thing's coverage can really touch me, and we already found that its Hidden Power is actually uh, an immunity from Gold Bat, so... That's very nice. He does go for the Bug Buzz. That's going to do absolutely nothing. And we will just go for the Roost here. Get up to as much health as we can. With the Chinchino not being burned anymore, I'm a little bit worried about Rock Blast. Uh, but Meloetta actually comes in here, which is another pretty big threat now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but it doesn't outspeed. Well, Glalie has to Mega Evolve first, actually. Let me go for a Taunt as he goes for a Sub. Awesome, okay. So we can actually break through this, well, go through the Sub with, uh, with Brave Bird, thanks to Infiltrator. He's probably just going to go for a Psychic type attack. That's fine. He's going to go for Psy Shock, yep. And uh, we'll go for the Brave Bird. We'll do a sizable amount of damage to this. The only reason I want to keep Golbat is for the, uh, the Acel Gore. Then again, with it being so low. I think my better play is just to repeatedly Brave Bird, actually. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna keep Brave Birding as he goes for another Psy Shock. We might die to the recoil here, actually. Uh, we, we are definitely gonna die to the recoil thanks to that crit, which might end up mattering. Um, because I'm going to attempt to break this thing sub with Scrafty. Uh, let's see if he can hit a Focus Blast. Uh, if he hits all three Focus Blasts, he wins. That's kind of scary, but uh, he does hit the first one. There's number one. We're going to... Uh, we actually do not have Ice Shard. But that's okay, because I can protect. That's alright. We do have Protect on this Glalie. This is alright. Um, as he goes for a Calm Mind. Alright. I could have returned there and knocked out your Meloetta, but alright. Uh, again, he still has to hit two Focus Blasts. So, we'll see if he can hit both. As he does not hit that one, awesome, and we are going to be able to kill this Meloetta or whatever wants to switch in. Uh, his uh, Selgor doesn't seem like it has Focus Blast, because it would have probably gone for it on the Aggron, knowing that it could hit the entire team with Focus Blast. So I'm thinking that uh, Glalie actually may just win here. And uh, it all comes down to what Chinchino's last move is. Uh, or what its move set is in general, because I think we've only seen two moves. It should have Rock Blast in general. In, uh, in like, what am I trying to say? I don't even know. I'm just going to protect, because this thing looks like it's banded. Uh, it looks like it's locked into a move at all times. So I'm just going to protect here. He can no longer switch into rocks, and uh, I should be good to go. It is going to go for Tail Slap, which means I get a free switch out on Aggron. That's going to do absolutely nothing to me. It's going to do, like, maybe 30% at most. Did I say 30? I meant 10. Sorry, guys. <laughs> wow. Uh, just gonna heavy slam here. I'm not even sure if this thing is banded anymore. I don't think it is. But uh, he has to go for a tail slap. He actually misses, which is a little unfortunate for him. But uh, a Selkor could still technically bring this back if it does have Focus Blast. So, we'll see. He's gonna go for the uh, Hidden Power Ground here, obviously, and knock us out. And we have to... Okay, he's Life Orb. That's really scary. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a return here. I really wish I had Ice Shard, but I do not. Okay, cool. He's not able to knock us out. If he got a crit there, he would have knocked us out easy. So uh, that came down to the wire. And that's actually where I'm going to end it, guys. Uh, 32 minutes in. Uh, so obviously not the best team that we started out with, but I'm glad I had this backup team uh, to get us two wins there. If, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like down below. I'm way too tired for this. I'm never doing this again. It is way too early in the morning. But uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like. Uh, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Ciao.